Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to it. Today's video is my reveal for my secret TBR that I had hidden when I did my June TBR video which I'll link down below. Um, so this secret TBR is part of a readathon and so we're going to get straight into this video so we can tell you all about it because I am so excited for this. So, I'm taking part in Whatever You Want a Fon, which is hosted by Maddie over at Book Browsing Blog. Maddie is one of my favourite booktubers and when I saw that she was doing her very first ever readathon I was like yes yes I'm here for it I am so here for it as you probably can tell from my June TBR video I already have a lot of books planned for June but regardless of that I had decided to take part in this readathon and pledge 12 books but I haven't just got 12 books I have 14 books because you know I I have to go all out but yeah I am so excited for this so like I said it's whatever you want a fun basically is a reader fun that you can read whatever you want it is um sort of point based it's sort of a competition as well um I am not overly competitive but I must say I am getting quite hyped about it. There are teams and yeah, I am so excited. So I'm going to go through the teams that there are on which team I'm on. So there's Middle Grey Monarchs, there's dream, Dreams and Drama Queens, Camp and Contemporary, Comrades of Chaos and Epic and High. And I am on team Epic and High, which is both Cody and Becca as the hosts for that team. So Team Epic and High are basically Epic and High Fantasy, which is what I read a lot of, so I thought, why not? So yeah, I'm on that team. It's Team Black as well, which is pretty much my favourite colour and my soul, so it, it, it was calling for me. And yeah, so um, basically there's like a scoring, there are prompts, yeah, I'm gonna put Maddie's link of her announcement video and also her link of her um, FAQ video, so, you know, it's all there so you know what I'm on about and if you want to participate because you still got time, probably, no, you probably haven't because by the time this comes up, will be in June anyway. Ignore that. Probably you won't have time. You never know, you might do. I have no idea whether there's a cutoff, but still. But yeah, so like I said, there are prompts. There are also points with everything too. So there's a scoring. So you got zero points to 2,000 points and you go from mortal, youngling, acolyte, mage and deity. Um, so there are basically points that you can win. So the bonus points are 100 points for LGBTQ+, there's um, host fave which is 50 points and team genre which is 25 points and then um, every prompt is 25 points, maximum 75 points per book. To be honest I don't understand the point base, the points sort of Thing, but Maddie does have like a form where you fill everything out and she sort of it all does it for you so I'm just kind of gonna whack it all in and it will all be done for me to try and work it out will be really hard so in regards to prompts there are a few prompts um where are they? Let me find the prompts. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 prompts. And I've pledged 12 books and I have 14 books because one book is double. 
Um, one book is on my Kindle, so I, it's not all things. I'm not even going to lift the books because it's pointless. I'm going to go through them anyway. So the first prompt is a cover reminds you of a pride flag. And I've gone with The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. And this is the pansexual flag, I think. I need to double check that i'm sure it is but yeah this is also a i'm also going to do this as a buddy read with a few other people are participating in whatever you want to fun i'm really excited to read this it's been on my tbr for ages and i keep meaning to read it but put it off because loads of people love it a few people say it's not my my typical go-to book to be honest but it sounds really good and a lot of people say it's brilliant but the little synopsis on here that I'll say is a magical island, a dangerous task, a burning secret it does sound really good, a few people say it's a bit upsetting but yeah, so I'm reading this for the cover that reminds me of a pride flag and then we have reread a comfort read and so with that I am doing Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Osman. This is also a buddy read I'm doing with a couple of my book club members. We're reading the whole of the um, volume, so we're reading one to four in the whole month of June. So I need to read this because it's a buddy read anyway, but it's a reread for me anyway because I have already read this. I love it. Nick and Charlie are just my absolute favourite characters. This also fits in with the LGBTQ representation and I'm not sure what other prompts it might fit in but like I said I sort of I know it once I've read it if that makes sense but I'm so excited to reread this because I absolutely love it and I can't wait to read the rest of the books as well because I haven't read them next is five star prediction and it's taken me so long to get this book and then having to wait to read it but we are going with the crown of gilded bones by jennifer l armantrout this is the third book in the from blood and ash series i loved both the first two books they are both top end five stars i have even said in some of my vlogs that this might even go above Akatar and I love Akatar so so I am finally reading the third book I've had to ignore all the reviews about this book I've had to ignore um like vlogs that I've done about this vlog um this book sorry because spoilers because I didn't want to spoil it for me it is a chunky book it is a chunky book but saying that I read the first two books like that and honestly I just know I'm gonna love it and the world building's already been done and it's just I'm so excited for this and I see this as a five star prediction because the other two were and if it isn't then I'll be shocked but I know it is so that is for the five star prediction then we have author's debut and that is for me the unspoken name by A.K. Lockwood. Um, I got recommended this at my local independent bookstore, but I've also seen Reagan talk about this book as well. Um, it says, "What if you knew how and when you would die?" This just sounds absolutely amazing. It is a debut. I've heard nothing but good things on the reviews that I have seen. I'm really excited for it. And yeah, Priestess, Assassin, Traitor. I'm excited for this, all right? I'm really excited for this. It's another chunky book because fantasies are chunky books, but hey, we're gonna read a lot of um, pages. Then next is Out of Your Comfort Zone. And for me, that is, the Girl from the Well by Rin Shupeko. So I recently just read The Never Tilting World by her, which is the first time I've ever read by this author. 
but I was kindly gifted this and the second book in this series, which is The Suffering. So this is sort of a YA horror, and I don't read a lot of horror. Um, I wouldn't say this was very heavy into horror, but it's still got creepiness. It is a, basically about um, a ghost who's got murdered, and I think um, this boy that she meets is um, possessed by a demon, I think. But yeah, it's a short one, and it isn't my go-to genre. I think I'm going to enjoy it because I really do like the author's writing. I really love The Never Tilting World and I think this is going to be similar writing even though it's not fantasy. But yeah, so I'm going for that with Out of Your Comfort Zone. And then we have Hoard in the Past Year and I am going with, because I really want to read it, The Prison Healer by Lynette Nonny. This is the Fairy Loot Edition which has got beautiful um, and that as well um, so obviously this came in my last fairy loot box so it is a month old I can't get it in now and yeah I've ever since I got it I was like I need to read this book so that's what we're doing we're reading this book I've got high expectations of it, although someone did tell me that they didn't really vibe with the characters, so it'll be interesting to see whether I did, because I'm someone who likes character-based books and plot-based books, and if I don't get it character-wise, then it has to be plot-wise, otherwise I'm not going to enjoy the book. But yeah, this is the Horde in the past year, literally I got it last month in my Fairy Loot edition, although I think I'm sure I did an unboxing for this at the beginning of this month. I'm sure but yeah I'm so excited to read this and yeah I hope it's good I haven't heard anything bad about it apart from the one that I did get but we'll see then we have indie self-publish and with that I have this book on kindle which is have I actually got it on my kindle bear with this is on my neck galley So it's not actually published yet, but I got a NetGalley, um... Uh-oh! I can't remember what it's called. I'm inserting it here. It is indie or self-published. It's one of the two. I can't remember now, but it's not released yet, but, um... I saw it on my net galley shelf and I thought, well, I need to read it. I might as well, and it fits that prompt. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what it's overly about. I think it's fantasy. It sounded fantasy, but other than that, I don't know much about it. I just saw it and thought, oh, I'll get that. And I was accepted to read and review it. So we're reading that. Then we have POC representation and I have have chosen The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. I also participated in a buddy read for this again with some other people who are taking part in whatever you want to Um I think this also has LGBTQ representation as well so I think that gives me points. Again I don't overly know until I've read the books to know what points it is but I think it is but it says every empire demands revolution and it says an unmissable epic fantasy debut of uprising espionage and empire yeah i'm very excited for this and again i have heard nothing but good about this book and when i bought it from my independent bookstore the owner actually told me that it was a really good book and I was going to buy it anyway before he even gave me the recommendation. But when he gave me the recommendation, I knew I needed to get it. So that's for POC representation. Then we have poll, which I put on whatever you want um, Discord chat. I put a poll of um, four books on there. So it was Six of Crows, Siege of Storm. I can't remember what the other two were now. But 
the winner of that battle a mile long oh city of brass and something else i can't remember the third one now but six of crows won battle a mile long so i am reading six of crows i'm very excited for this because after reading shadow and bone and watching shadow and bone on netflix i have fallen in love with kaz i don't know much about him apart from what i saw on um shadow of bones tv adaption but i love kaz and i'm like i need to pick this book up the amount of times i've picked this book up and i've not read it it's as bad as shadow and bone it took me so long to read it because i don't know whether i'm going to enjoy it or not some people love shadow and bone and say this is not as good other people say this is fantastic and shadow and bone is naff i don't know what to expect but i'm really excited to finally get to it i've got no excuse to not read it now and also this also has disability representation because um, Kaz has a limp. It also, I think someone says, has mental health representation with um, PTSD, I think someone said. And also this fits the um, team colour and all of that but yeah i'm so excited to read this and i've got the um limited special edition one and it is just beautiful yeah i'm very excited to read this i see i see good things i see good things then it fits a tbr game prompt so i do have a tbr game but i haven't done it the last two months for may and this month purely because may i had loads of books i needed to read and i knew i was taking part in this um readathon so i knew doing my game which i'm changing around so it was just prompt based it's just going to be too much for me but i decided because i have seen it in other people's um tbr games and i also put it as one of my prompts so for fit a tbr game prompt i've done either it was it was a mixture of both it was either read a book club book or read a buddy read and so i am going to read in the ravenous dark by am stripland which is a book club pick this is the pick for phase and gaze book club for this month and i'm very excited for this and i'm also doing this as a buddy read i actually started this buddy read on whatever fun's discord because i was reading it i noticed other people were planning to read it so I said why not do a buddy read so I'm hosting this buddy read and this also has LGBTQ representation um because if I'm correct the character's pansexual I might be wrong oh, there's so many much over overload of information it just goes poof. and i'm tired because i hardly got any sleep last night because i have i don't know why but every month i get just like a day where my whole body's really itchy like everywhere um it's sort of interlinked with a liver problem i have but yeah last night i was just itching like nobody's business and because it was so hot and stuffy that didn't help but anyway off off topic um i'm reading this for fit a tba tbr game prompt i'm very excited a lot of people say this is brilliant and then we have buddy read and this also fits with the other prompt which is bookish creators favorite so i am reading my very first ever brandon sanderson book the Final Empire, which is Mistborn Book 1 in the Mistborn Trilogy. And so this is a buddy read that I'm doing with a few people who are doing it for Team Epic and High. And I'm also doing it as um, Becca, who is my um, team host's favourite book. So the Bookish Creator one, I have tipped off that one too. I'm very excited to start a Brandon Sanderson book. I've watched every vlog that Reagan's done about Brandon Sanderson and I've heard nothing but good things from her and she was the reason why I decided to get 
um, I've got this, I've got the first book in the um, Stormlight Archive which is The Way of Kings Part 1 and The Way of Kings Part 2 and I've also got Elementris as well but I'm starting with this one because everyone said this was a little bit easier and I am going into this book with no knowledge. All I know from this little bit that's on here is the mist rule and night, the Lord ruler owns the world. Everyone says this is brilliant. I'm very nervous because it is quite a chunky book and I always find when it's the first book in a series, you get a lot of world building and then things pick up near the end. But yeah. I'm excited for it. I think this has some mental health representation as well. So that ticks that sort of. Yeah, I'm excited for it regardless. And yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about it because it's chunky, but we're going there, we're fine. Then we are doing, dis sorry, yeah, disability or mental health representation. And I'm choosing a little bit of an easy book for me since I have got some chunky books. And I've chosen a graphic novel of Monstrous, which is Volume 1, Awakening. I have been told that this has the characters an amputee. And I also think she's got um, PTSD and other mental health problems. But I'm excited to read this. It's absolutely beautiful graphics. And everyone says it's a brilliant book. And I thought I need to have like a short book because I do have a lot of books to read as you can tell by the amount of chunky books there are but yeah I'm really excited to read this it's just going to be a nice easy quick done and dusted job so I like that obviously then the other prompt was book as creators fave this but like I said that also was the um, final empire then we've got cover features team color and so I've gone for Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. This has been on my radar for a while now and I have had it in my wish list but I've never bought it because it's quite expensive but um, I asked people to give me some fantasy recommendations that had black cover to tie in with that. I do have a lot of black cover books but I just wanted something different and new and a lot of people said to go for this there's a buddy read for this so i took part in that as well because you know buddy reads helps you get through it obviously it's black as you can tell it also is to do with necromancers and lesbian necromancers so it's got the lgbtq plus representation too I am so excited to finally read this. I absolutely love the look of this book and I exceptionally love that they've got little skulls in all of the um, chapters and it's a beautiful floppy book so I can just go like that and not break a spine. So we love that. I'm very excited for this and I'm. <laughs> this is one of those books where I kind of want to start first but I also don't want to because from this prompt which is cover features team colour the last prompt is title last letter which is the title of the first letter so Gideon the ninth ends with a H so with that I'm reading House of Hollow so this is by Chris Sutherland I've heard nothing but good things about this book it is a tiny book I think I am doing a buddy read with Sydney Yes. I think my daughter's trying to get in. Bear with. <laughs> Awkward. Where was I? Yeah. So, title last letter, title first letter, House of Hollow. I think um, Sydney over at Sid's Book Quorum is doing a like Patreon buddy read with this because it was one of the books. Um, to vote for her book club that she's doing with um, on her Patreon. I don't know much about this apart from that um, the Hollow Sisters disappeared as children 
they reappeared a month later and then ever since that like weird things have happened i think they've got like some weird crescent thing on their like neck and then one of the oldest hollow sisters gray has gone missing again so the other two are trying to find out where she is and why and all that i, I don't really know no. i'm not 100 percent sure whether it's like a horror or a thriller I don't know i just a love the cover it's a short read and everyone's raving about it and saying it's a brilliant book so i wanted to buy it got it and it fit that prompt really well so they are the 14 books including the kindle which i can't remember its name i'm still working it out but yeah and then i also have all of my other june tbr we've worked out it's like 37 books <laughs> it's gonna be fun but yeah i'm so excited to participate in whatever you want to perform i'm really excited um the discord chat is just non-stop like chitter chatter it's really nice just chatting to other people i like just love the fact that i'm t participating in buddy reads with people that i watch on booktube and i just feel like i feel like i'm with some stars if that makes sense I watch them on booktube, I love them on booktube and I'm actually talking to them or buddy reading with them. It's just really surreal and cool but yeah I am so excited for this. June is going to be a blast. I have loads of fantasy books that yes they're chunky but I know I'm going to love, I know I'm going to breeze through. I've got a lot of LGBTQ plus rep as well which with it being pride month is brilliant. Yeah it's going to be a good month it's going to be a stressful month because i need to cram in so many books but i am planning to do loads of 24 hour or 48 hour readathons and just read as much as i can but yeah i'm so excited for this team epic and high are gonna win i don't care what anyone says we are gonna win we are the most people in team epic and high as well there are tons of us i can't remember how many they were but um uh maddie did tell us it in her patreon sprints but i can't remember there's a lot we there is a load of us doing team epic and high so technically if we all read all of our books and then some i'm sure we win i'm so excited i am so excited i am so excited but yeah, so that is my secret TBR. It's for whatever you want to fun. Thank you to Maddie for hosting it. Like, honestly, love it. She's done such hard work as well with juggling her job and her personal life. Like, she is just an amazing machine, bless her. She is just, she's brilliant. I absolutely adore her. She is one of my favourite booktubers, so I was really happy she was doing this. I can't wait to be on Team Epic and High and be with Cody and Becca because again they are two books to, booktubers that I watch as well. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's a very used word today, I know. But yeah, so that is my TBR for whatever you want to fun. Let me know if you've read any of these books that I've mentioned or put a rainbow in the comments if you are taking part in whatever you want to form and then put the colour heart of what team you're on it would be nice to see like who is on team epic and high lap watch my um videos it'll be cool but yes thank you for watching take care and i will see you all again soon bye <laughs>